Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the types of fonts. Okay, so we are having three different types guys. So just by the names only, few of you can identify them. Okay, so the first type is nothing but a transient fault guys. So transient fault is nothing but it is some kind of guest you can assume in that way. So it comes for some time and it's vanished without its intimation. Like it transient faults occur once then disappear. So they magically vanish from them. Okay, yes. So, an example could be a bird flying through a beam of microwave transmi transmission causing loss of bits. So, basically assume that the data is transferring in this particular in air. Okay. So, assume that they are some of they are microwaves. Okay. Microwave transmission. So, assume that a bird came in between. So, the bits are lost. So, this kind of bits will be corrupted. So, this is a nothing but transient because the bird will not come every time. Right. So, there could be a chance. Right. Yes. So, this is nothing but transient and it occurs rarely. Okay. Similarly, intermediate fault. So fault occur, then vanish of its own occurred, that reappear again. Okay. Yes. So basically some kind of loose connections you can say. So basically it will work for some time and again it stops working. Again after some time it will start working guys. So sometimes whenever our remotes, TV remotes and all those things, whenever they are battery low, these kind of issues will also come guys. For some time it will be working and for others half time it will not work. So in that way. That is nothing but intermediate. Okay. Yes. I think I wrote it in the wrong way. So please correct it on your own guys. Okay. Yes. So permanent. So permanent are nothing but you need to replace them. Like it's a permanent fault. Okay. Okay. So continue to exist until the fault component is repaired. So basically assume that your processor in your system, the processor or anything has been damaged. There's no chance that your system will run now. If a RAM damaged, it could run. But if processor like some kind of main components, if they damage, you cannot run the system or you can, you can't even turn on the system guys. Okay. So that is nothing but a permanent fault. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea on three different faults. So in the next lecture, we will be discussing some basic examples of failures guys. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.